चैप्टर थर्टी वन ऑफ द होली कुरान सुरे लुकमान अउजबिलहिमिन शैतान रजीम बिसमान रहीम इन द नेम ऑफ अल्लाह द मोस्ट ग्रेशियस द मोस्ट मर्सिफुल अलिफ लाम मीम दीज आर द वर्सेस ऑफ द बुक ऑफ विजडम अ गाइड एंड अ मर्सी फॉर दोज हु डू गुड for those who attend to their prayers and pay the zakat and who have firm faith in the hereafter these are rightly guided by their lord and these are the ones who will prosper but among men there are some who spend their time in idle diversions only to lead people astray from the path of allah and without knowledge hold it up to ridicule for such there is a humiliating punishment in store whenever our messages are conveyed to such a person he turns away in his arrogance as though he had not heard them as though his ears were sealed give him then the tidings of grievous suffering in the life to come surely those who believe and do good works shall enter gardens of bliss wherein they will abide forever there is a last true promise he is the mighty the wise one he has created the skies without any support that you could see and has placed firm mountains upon the earth lest it sway with you and has caused all manner of living creatures to multiply thereon and we send down water from the skies and thus we made every kind of excellent plant grow there this is a last creation show me then what those besides him have created the wrong doers are in manifest error <coughs> we bestowed wisdom on lukman saying be grateful to allah he who is grateful is grateful only for the good of his own soul But if anyone is ungrateful then surely Allah is self sufficient and praiseworthy Lukman said to his son counseling him My son do not associate anything with Allah associating others with him is a terrible wrong We have enjoined men to show kindness to his parents for his mother bears him in hardship upon hardship and his weaning takes 2 years we said give thanks to me and to your parents all will return to me but if they press you to associate something with me about which you have no knowledge do not obey them yet be kind to them in this world and follow the path of those who turn to me you will all return to me in the end and i will tell you everything that you have done lukman further said O oh my son though it be but the weight of a grain of mustard seed and though it be hidden in a rock or in the heavens or on the earth Allah will bring it forth Truly Allah is the knower of all subtleties and he is aware Oh my dear son say your prayers regularly 
and enjoin good and forbid evil and endure patiently whatever may befall you. Surely, this is something which requires firm resolve. Do not avert your face from people out of haughtiness. And do not walk with pride on the earth. For behold, Allah does not love arrogant and boastful people. Walk modestly and lower your voice. For the ugliest of all voices is the braying of the ass. Have you not seen that Allah has subjected to you whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth? And has completed his favors to you, both seen and unseen. Yet there are some who dispute concerning Allah without knowledge or guidance or an enlightening book. When they are told to follow the revelations that Allah has sent down, they say, No, we shall follow the ways that we found our fathers following. Yes, even though Shaitan is inviting them to the punishment of the burning fire. He who submits himself completely to Allah and is a doer of good has surely grasped a strong handle. For the final outcome of all events rests with Allah. <coughs> but if any reject the faith, let not his rejection grieve you. For to us they shall return. And we shall tell them the truth about their deeds. For Allah knows well all that is in the human heart. We shall let them enjoy themselves for a little while. But then we shall drive them to a harsh punishment. If you should ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will surely answer Allah. Say, praise be to Allah. But most of them do not understand. Whatever is in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah assuredly. Allah is self-sufficient and praiseworthy. If all the trees on earth were pens and the sea were ink with seven more seas added to it, the words of Allah would not be exhausted. For truly Allah is almighty and wise. Creating and resurrecting all of you is just like creating and resurrecting a single soul. Truly, Allah hears all and observes all. Have you not seen that Allah makes the night pass into the day and makes the day pass into the night and that he has pressed the sun and the moon into his service, each pursuing its course for an appointed time, term, and that Allah is well aware of what you do. That is because Allah is the truth and what they call upon besides him is falsehood. Allah is the most high, the supreme one. Have you not seen how the ships sail on the sea by Allah's grace so that he may show you some of his signs? Surely therein are signs for every steadfast thankful person. When the waves engulf them like shadows of death, they call to Allah, sincere at that moment. 
in their faith in him alone but as soon as he has brought them safe ashore only some of them take the right course and none denies our signs save the perfidious and ungrateful person oh man seek protection with your lord and fear the day when neither will the father be of any avail to his son nor will the son be of any avail to his father allah's promise is surely true so let not worldly life beguile you nor let the deceiver deceive you concerning allah Truly Allah alone has knowledge of the hour. He sends down the rain and he knows what is in the wombs. No soul knows what it will earn tomorrow and no soul knows in what land it will die. Surely Allah is all knowing, all aware. End of surah Luqman. verse 34